Hi, my name is Bert Hurlbut. I'm the Vice President of Construction for the new Stanford Hospital right behind me. California has passed a law that all hospitals have to be seismically safe by the year 2030. They have to be what we call super hospitals that not only do they have to withstand the, the, the energy or the pressures by an earthquake, but they have to be operational immediately following the earthquake. So our primary seismic restraint or seismic safety are going to be base isolators. Our particular base isolators are called friction pendulum base isolators. What I have on top here is a scale model of what this unit is. If you take this apart, we have the top section, another set of base isolators on the inside. So this piece called the puck is the first working part and then we've got an actual smaller piece on the center. And during an earthquake, without the top on there, what will happen is this will slide over the side and this will slide all the way to the side. If I put the top on it at its maximum displacement, it's right about here. This part will be parallel to the bottom part and its movement on the real base isolator from center to center is about three feet. And as this comes back on the return side of the earthquake and moves all the way over on those four surfaces, it once again is another three feet, given a total displacement of about six feet in an earthquake. And earthquakes typically start with a big boom and then they slow down and just come back to the center. Some of the benefits that we derive from our friction pendulum base isolation system is that a lot of the energy that would be put into the building during an earthquake is dampened out and we actually get what I call a discount on the amount of energy that's going into the building. Because of that, we can do some other pretty neat things structurally on our building. When you look at the building, you'll see the patient rooms, which are levels four through seven. They look like these floating glass cubes and the outside are actually cantilevered about 30 feet from their support. Typically, you just you couldn't dampen as much energy without base isolators. Each one of these base isolators are taking a few million pounds of pressure from the weight of the building on top of each one of them. Stanford Hospital is the only level one trauma center between San Jose and San Francisco. Our designs were based upon the emergency room actually being on the west side of the facility, right next to the parking garage. We're making provisions for allowing triage of a large number of people in the event of, let's say, an earthquake where a lot of people are uh, injured and have to come in. And you can drive in one side and they'll take a quick look at you. If you're injured very badly, they'll take you right in the emergency room, which is right adjacent to uh, the, the garage itself. So it's a, a, a quick one-stop uh, triage center. We have to be operational after the event. This is the place. We've taken it so seriously that we're providing an extra bit of safety on this particular building.